So Eco6 project is um, a, fr a project which is funded by the Agence Nationale de Recherche Française. It's a large project, involves several French teams and international teams um, in three different countries, so France, Costa Rica and Laos. Um, this, the project is concerned with uh, the ecosystem services provided by Plant Root Systems. Uh, what's an ecosystem service? It's a quantifiable service provided by the environment and which can be used by man. Um, we're going to look at three different services in the project, which are provided largely by trees. Um, the first service is carbon sequestration, how trees can stock carbon um, from the environment and stock that into the soil. Uh, the second service is hydraulic lift, uh, how trees can take water from deep layers in the soil and distribute them to different parts of uh, the soil profile. And the third service is um, fixation of soil on slopes. So that's largely with regard to shallow landslides and erosion. Different situation, but you cannot really say farmers that have... One of the major problems that the world is facing at the moment um, is of course a shortage of food. The world's population is increasing enormously and then in 2050 there won't be enough food to feed everybody. Uh, we have to find new ways of um, providing enough food for the world but also without destroying the environment. What we're interested in is trying to find um, new management strategies for managing forests but also crops. Uh, so we, we've got four field sites, a Mediterranean field site, a field site in the French Alps, a subalpine natural forest, and we've got a field site in Costa Rica and a field site in Laos. And what we want to do at each field site is um, to try and figure out the different services which can be provided by the forest at each field site. For example, um, in Costa Rica, we've got a coffee plantation and we've got uh, shade trees um, which provide shade over the coffee plantation. And what we want to look at is if it's better to have coffee on its own, to mix the coffee with the shade trees, or should we mix? Should we think about mixing coffee with an, another species? So uh, in Laos we have a, a teak plantation, and we also have teak mixed with rice. We have rice on its own. Um, in the Mediterranean site we have uh, walnut mixed with um, winter wheat, and wheat on its own, walnut on its own, and in the in the in the French alpine site, we have a natural forest, uh, different gradient, different types of natural forest. And we want to know if there's a significant difference um, for providing each of the different services when we have a mixed um, crop and tree species or mixed species or an increased diversity of species. So one of the first things we do when we go to a field site, we have to characterize a field site. Obviously, we have to look at what species grow there. Um, which species are dominant and so on and then what we do is we have to go and dig <laughs> we have to dig um, trenches in each of our different types of vegetation and we dig a trench which could be down to four to five meters deep and we quantify the amount of root biomass the number of uh, roots which uh, we find alongside uh, a wall of the trench uh, that we then remove uh, different um, roots from different profiles. Uh, we take these roots back to the lab where we do various tests on them. Some of the roots uh, can, will be used for um, decomposition processes because we want to know about root decomposition. Some of the other uh, roots will be used, we want to know how much carbon is in those roots. We also take soil samples um, to work out to calculate how much carbon there is in the soil. We want to correlate uh, the soil data with the root data. We take uh, samples of soil so we, for chemical analysis, for physical analysis. So we end up with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of samples from our different sites. And you, with those data, 
um, we should be able to work out which um, agroforest system or which forest system um, is better for sequestering carbon or um, fixing the soil or um, redistribu redistributing water within the system. Oui. Donc imaginez la position de la fosse là-bas, qui est à peu près cette ouverture, et aller plus bas, à, au même endroit. Alors, tu ne pourras pas travailler dans ce sens, puisque là, il y a, y a, y a pas deux. de mur. Ouais, ouais. Mais euh, je pense que tu peux faire le profil ici, là. Je pense que le plus innovatif aspect de ce projet est le fait que nous regardons les systèmes de systèmes de route. Il n'y a pas eu beaucoup de recherche sur les systèmes de route, compared to shoot system, largely because it's very difficult to, to work on roots. Um, you have to spend hours and hours and hours digging for roots, looking for them. You can't see them growing easily. Um, now we have more and more techniques and methods for observing root systems in the soil, um, but they're still, it's still hard work actually excavating root systems. So I think the most innovative part of the project is the fact that we're looking at root systems and we're also looking at deep root systems, root systems that are deeper than the traditional 50 centimeters in soil because a lot of research that's been carried out uh, over the last 50 to 100 years, people have more or less stopped uh, at a depth of uh, 30 to 50 centimeters because it's very difficult to dig deeper. And we're looking at root systems uh, which grow down to um, 10, 15, even 20 meters. There's actually a huge amount of um, biomass, root biomass, at uh, depths deeper of one to two meters. And most of the research over the last century has completely ignored that as aspect. We're underestimating enormously uh, the potential of uh, ecosystems to provide services um, through their root systems and also through their deep root systems. So we'll be uh, looking um, at the differences in functioning and the structure of deep roots compared with shallow roots and the different services provided by different parts of the root system. The project is organized into six work packages. We have the first work package, which is uh, coordination, uh, transfer, transfer of knowledge to the end user, um, and training of young persons, students, and so on. The second work package is involved with the harmonization of data in the field. So what data should we be going to get in the field? We're making sure that we're going to try and get um, the data as similar as possible from each field site and that is integrated and coherent. The third um, package is concerned with carrying out field work and the ecosystem services provided by different um, types of root systems and different root traits. The, th the fourth package is concerned with uh, carbon sequestration, hydraulic uplift and uh, erosion and uh, shallow landslides. And then finally, the fifth package is concerned with modeling, and the sixth package is, concer is uh, concerned with the database, putting all the data into the database and carrying out a data mining, uh, uh, an analysis of all these data, and transferring that into uh, guidelines for the end user. My work in the project um, is to make sure that um, all the work is carried out, that all the partners in the project um, transfer their knowledge, their data, that what they do is integrated and um, that everything works okay, basically. Um, and also I'm involved in how to transfer knowledge to the end user, how best to transfer scientific results into knowledge the end user. Le principe de la manip c'est de tester la Nous sommes en train de creuser une fosse euh, plus profonde. Plus profonde. Oui, mais Bonjour. On va faire pour une vingtaine de minutes. On est à 1m50, il est temps de maximiser la stabilité des plantes pour tout le temps. So I think one of the most um, difficult things of coordinating 
such a project is uh, to get everybody talking the same language. I think, first of all, we have to work out the vocabulary. I'm not talking about French, English, or anything like this, but work out the vocabulary that each uh, team uses so that we understand each other better and so we know um, what each team wants and expects from the project. Um, it's not so difficult coordinating people uh, in France, in Costa Rica or in Laos because with technology now we can uh, email and wiki and we have a project uh, site and, and so on. That's not so difficult. But the difficult thing is really making sure that everybody wants the same thing from the project.